Hi, Lily. Hey, hey, how's it going? Good. You guys know each other? That's my stepdad. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> Didn't know you are coming. Did you clean your room? Ned. <laughs> so what do we got? OK, it's a letter that was in a plane crash outside of Las Vegas in 1958, along with a, a letter from the Postal Service to the person it was addressed to saying it was in a plane crash. Didn't the post office used to be nice? I don't think they would do this for you today, honestly. I don't think they would even bother recovering. As a little boy, I remember my parents telling me about this plane crash that happened before I was alive. I don't even know how my folks got it. Don't have any set number in my mind. I was thinking probably $400, but I really just came to spy on Lily. The enclosed mail was recovered in an airplane crash near Las Vegas, Nevada. We regret any inconvenience resulting in the delay in delivery. I know the crash was a really big deal. I mean, almost 50 years later, they taught us about it in school. Right. It was a weird story. I mean, it was the worst plane crash Southern Nevada's ever had. Some kind of military exercise was going on, and a military plane hit a commercial airliner, and it was pretty hairy. Uh, I didn't know they were carrying mail on it, though. Well, they were carrying mail from Honolulu. All right. Um, you can definitely tell it's from around the time period, because what's it missing? Uh, how, do you know, how do you know it's old? We've talked about this. The no. send marks. The didn't have a zip code. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. The marks from the post office. Yeah. <laughs> Lily's pretty quick on her feet, and she's learned a bunch of stuff here. But I'm not trying to make her look bad in front of her stepdad. So obviously it's old. You never opened it up and tried to read it? No. I guess with all the burnt stuff, it'd be a little hairy. Watch, it's like some breakup letter from like some guy in the military. <laughs> uh, who Always knows? positive thinking, Lily. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, who knows what it could be? Any idea what you want for it? I'd like to get 400 for it. Doesn't sound out of the range of what it could be worth. And I'll throw Lily in. Hey. <laughs> Deal. What? <laughs> now I'm profiting off you. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I could be part of the sale, guys. <laughs> I figure it's got to be collectible. The way I look at it, you know, postmen, firemen, policemen, they're all people that are really passionate about their jobs, and they all collect stuff. But I don't know how desirable it is. And I'd like to know how many more of these are out there. And to be honest with you, last time I bought a burnt up piece of paper I thought was almost useless and ended up being worth 10 grand. So uh -huh. I'd like to hear a little bit more sure. about it before uh, I give too. it off. To be honest with you, I'd like to know a little bit more too. Do you want to go give Mark Hall Patton a call and uh, see yeah. if he can answer a few questions about it and maybe let us know a little bit more? Yeah, sure, I can do that. All right, go give him a call. All right, I will. All right, thanks. See you soon. It's a pretty morbid item, but it's a great piece of local history, and I think a lot of people would be interested in it. Take a look at this. What's curious about this is most of the stuff that was recovered from this crash had a separate marking on the envelope that said damaged in the postal service. But um, in this case, they had this little extra piece that came with it. And they would do that. They would apologize. You know, we're sorry that your mail got burned up in airplane crash or whatever. In 1958, when this happened, we have never had a crash of that size. It was a United flight. They were going from LA to Denver. And they were flying at about, it was about 21,000 feet. And they had an F-100 that had come out of Nellis. It was flying at 28,000 feet, well above. There was a particular maneuver they wanted the F-100 to do, which was to descend down to 6,000 feet and do it quickly. The F-100 came down, clipped the wing of the DC-7, and it was a horrendous crash. But one of the interesting things is they had a group of scientists that were flying with briefcases handcuffed to their arms and that, 13 of them on the plane. And these guys were doing some secret military stuff. They all died. And after that, the Army never allowed that number of, of scientists to fly together. This particular plane crash ended up making a lot of changes in commercial and military aviation. It's an awful thing to have this kind of a loss of life in order for those improvements to happen. But at least something positive came out of it. So do you think there's a real market for this? Like, do you think anybody would actually collect it, or? Oh, yes. If you're into collecting postal history, there's actually a catalog for just this. 
for interrupted mail covers. And there are some very advanced collectors that try, you know, to get something from every plane crash. Oh, wow. Well, Mark, I appreciate it, my man. Thank you very Not much. Thank Good to you. see you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Have fun now. What do you think? I don't know. Lily, what do you think? Um, I've never done this before, so I have no <laughs> clue. Yeah, um, I think there'd be a conflict of interest between yeah, you two anyway, obviously. probably. I mean, I've never really sold burnt mail before. I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. It's cool enough. It's got that weird factor people are into. A little low, don't you think? I mean, he said it was collectible. Could you do 175? There is a market out there for it, I'm sure, but I don't know how unique this is gonna be. I'll go 125. Well, it does me no good, so I'll take the 125, but you gotta throw her back in now. All right, she's off in 10 minutes anyways. Thank you. But she's gonna write you up over there. Terrific. Win a winner chicken dinner, $125 for a burnt piece of envelope? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. It's all gonna go to Lily anyway. She'll take it when we get home.